Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsleam and I'm back with another run to fight on Next Generation. For today's video, we're going to be doing some tips and tricks. And now I'm going to be showing you the cars that you can put Neon on. Most of the cars, I think all of the cars you can put Neon on, but I tried to do it on my motorcycle. That did not work, but that would have been awesome if you can do it with the, um, uh, Hakuchi, I think it's called. The new motorcycle, it's not new, it's from the... Last team standing up there, I believe so. But yeah, so the Portal Dukes, as you see, the eyelids do close on this, guys. But that's for our first tips and tricks today. But as you see, these neon lights are insane, guys. I just want to see them, show you to them, guys, how awesome they look. But they're so awesome, they actually cost a little bit of money. Like, probably if you want to get all sides on neon like this and pick a color, it probably costs, like, maybe around 40 grand, guys. Because this is, uh, this is like, amazing what we can do with the neon stuff in this game, guys. You can put it almost on all cars. I think you can not put it on motorcycles, guys. But, yeah. I'm going to be showing you what you can do with your heart, um, car today, guys. And now, some of the cars that have the hoods on them and on the roof, guys, you can actually do something pretty cool with them. So, what you're going to do with cars that have a roof and you can edit the roof, guys, you're going to go to your roof and edit it. And maybe some of you guys didn't know that you cars you can edit roofs. Like, roofs are. Sorry about that, guys. I'll have a little cold, like, lately and stuff, guys. But, yeah. Alright, sorry. Um, now, you can actually pick different flags. Like, say, you can pick the American flag, Australian flag, Brazil, Spanish flag, Canadian, French, German, Japanese. Now, in whatever country you're in, you can put it on top of your car, guys. And that's a pretty cool roof, guys. I didn't see that. My, fr my friend actually told to me that you can do that. And actually, they're actually pretty cheap, too, guys. If I didn't get my 500k yet. I do not know why. I wasted all my money on buying stuff. But, yeah, I did not get my 500k yet. I'm still wondering why. But, yeah, guys. So... You can get all these um, country roofs out. It's just, it's just awesome, guys. So now, if you didn't know, if you don't pay attention to information and stuff, and maybe you just watch YouTube videos, well, you can actually do neon lights now, neon layout, and I have um, front, back, and all sides. That is $30,000 for your front, back, and all sides where you'll see neon at. And the color is like a little bit of money too, 6000 goes up to 10000 20000 yeah. So the crew one is your crew with stuff, and I just picked the red one and matched it with the red guys, but yeah. So that is a new customization options you can get for your car that has a roof, maybe like some new, uh, some tires, some, the neon, the neon in the roof where you can do with your country and roof guys, that's the best like trick you can do. I didn't even know you can do that guys, so that's some secret. So I'll be seeing you in our next tip and trick. Hi guys. We are back with our next tips and trick, and our next tips and trick is the new hair on hair stuff and uh, hair parlor guy here. As you see, this guy, when you go to any hair hair salon or a hair place to cut your hair, there will be some new stuff. New stuff is makeup. Um, you can actually, it's not really new, but the lipstick, that is new. You can add some nice nice lipstick if you are a girl or something like that. Maybe if you're a gay guy, that's good for you. But yeah, so you actually do eyebrows. The eyebrows is new too. You couldn't do that in last generation. You can do chest. Now, this chest is really something new I wouldn't expect from Rockstar Games. That's a funny one guys but yeah so you can have really cool chest hair and stuff and yeah so uh, now eyebrows that's something new too hairstyles beards we had that but something I want to show you is either the chest and contacts that rocks are I wouldn't expect them to put in this is um the chest you can do all that stuff like I just said but for the contacts guys now you can actually put different eye like pupils or, like for your eyes and stuff guys as you see maybe if you want to change it you can actually change it the lizard look at this the lizard bullseye the dragon the extraterrestrial, the goat, the smiley, the possessed, and this one's pretty cool. It looks really scary. And now the demon one. Now this, if you were just up something cool, guys, it looks insane, guys. But yeah. So this is maybe you guys didn't know this, and you didn't ever know. Like maybe you just transferred your character, and you made your hair there, and you never knew this would be in here. I like never knew you can do this and this infected alien eye, undead zombie, do all that awesome stuff, green, emerald. But yeah, guys, so you can change your eyes color, and the chest hair is pretty funny too, guys. You can make it different colors, and yeah, whatever you want to do, guys. But there is so much customization in Rockstar did, guys. Now, I hope you t enjoyed today's video, but I have still some more stuff to show you. And it's not just the hair salon, just awesome stuff, not just the Los Santos Customs, but this is my first video of tips and tricks. There will be much more coming up, guys. Don't worry. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to change your walk style. Now, the walk style, you go to like almost like you go to the, um, not to the bottom yet, but here. Um, your walk style is right here, normal. As you see, this is the normal walk right here, guys. That's the normal. That's just the normal rock right there. And now, the Femi walk. And now, here, you, here it is. As you see, you almost walk like a, um, a girl character would walk in, in Grand Theft Auto. Almost like a, look how you walk. It looks so hippie and stuff. But yeah, and now you can walk like a gangster walk. As you see, you walked all tough, like the head sticking up. You walking mad tough. Yeah, now, here's the posh walk. 
Flash is almost normal to me. I didn't see anything different. But I think he just keeps his head up the whole time and he walks kind of normal. Um, but yeah, and here's a tough guy walk. You see your arms are like more um, like like you like like sticking out a little bit more, guys. He's walking nice and big like you're stomping on the ground. Something. Yeah, it, it, it almost looks the same, guys, but yeah. So that's something cool, too. I'm going to be showing you the last tips and tricks for today. There's some new player targeting stuff maybe you didn't know about. But yeah, you can actually say it to attackers. So people that um, so people in the lobby that shoot at you and they give you damage, you'll be able to auto-aim. But say before, if you just join a lobby, and you go into a war where there's people there, but they're not shooting at you. And say you're in, like um, auto-aiming on a roof, you try to auto-aim on somebody, it won't auto-aim on them. Um, it will do for um, all non-friend players, so everybody in the lobby, it's almost like, so anybody that shoots at you, you will be able to give auto-aim. So say some guy um, shoots me with a pistol one time, but, and I can't auto-aim on, I say, say I'm trying to shoot this guy with a gun, AK-47 first, it won't auto-aim on him, and I, it can't auto-aim on me. So um, I have my thing on attackers only, and I tried first to shoot him, but it didn't auto-aim on him. But when he has everyone on, now everyone would like, he can aim at anybody, anytime, anytime he wants, anywhere. So say he aims at me, he'll auto-aim and he'll shoot me. But then after he shoots me, I'll take damage from him. And then actually then I will be able to auto-aim on him. So whenever you take damage, then you'll be able to auto-aim. But before someone doesn't give you damage, then you cannot auto-aim. Now, um, um, strangers is people that you don't know in a lobby, but only your friends you can like not auto-aim auto -aim on. So people that you don't know put you can put strangers on and you'll aim at them but not your friends and then yeah attackers are people who they give you damage and then you can shoot at them after they give you damage everyone is everyone in the lobby every single person that you see even your friends you can auto aim on strangers i'll keep probably keep it on because i won't auto aim on my friends that much auto aim people i don't know guys so hope you enjoyed today's tips and tricks video i might try and get another video out today guys i'm not totally sure i'm not feeling that good that's why i haven't been uploading that much guys but yeah Hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. How is GTA 5 gen next gen going for you? Or if you're just last generation, like, like, are you, like, going to get GTA 5 next year? If you are, don't forget to like the video and tell me in the comment section down below. I'll be seeing you in the next one.